Hello, in this video I will show you very basic reports from Google Analytics Enhanced e-commerce. Those will help you tremendously to understand better what your customers are doing in your store and how to improve your website performance and sales. Let's go to the account at Google Analytics. Of course, I have already installed the Google Analytics Enhanced e-commerce add-on in my store. And let's see the conversions reports. I go here in conversions and open e-commerce. Take an overview. Here you can see the performance of products in my store. You can see the general statistics, for example, my revenue and conversion rate. I can also see the transactions here and so on. Also you can see the products, those are sold the best in my store. But there are some more interesting things, those I would like to show you in this video. So I go to product analysis and open the shopping behavior report. Here you can see the funnel. On the first tab you can see how many people opened your store but had no shopping activity. Later you can see that some people made some activity here but had no cart addition. Next, how many of them abandoned the cart? And finally, how many people proceeded to the checkout? This report is crucial for you to understand what's going on really and why people probably leaving you. When do they do it? Also, you can see the statistics for the returning visitors and new visitors. This is also very important because you can understand which of your customers bring you more money? Those who are newcomers or your returning customers? Now let's take a look at the product performance report. Alright. Here you can see which of your products bring you more money. Of course there are several ways how you can show this information. For example, you can create a pie chart and see exactly in money and in percent how much the items in your store bring you. Great, let's take a look at the sales performance. In this section you can see the orders, those bring you money. And also you can configure these fields if you like. In my case, these were orders. Now let's take a look at product list performance. The product lists are the blocks in your store. So here you can see which of your blocks are the most interesting for your customers. Also, you can take a look, for example, how many times customers in your store clicked those products. This is great because when you are placing your blocks on your website, you should realize which block will be good here and which one probably not. With these statistics, you will see it. I believe that those three reports, really basic one, will help you significantly to understand what's going on on your website and to improve your sales if it's necessary. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.